Hello, thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new here, my name is Dale. This channel is DLJ from PA and I focus on reselling content. I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. So if that's the kind of content that interests you and you're not subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell button so you're alerted when I post new content. I have a lot of great content planned for February because I might have gone a little overboard doing online purchases through both ThreadUp and Shop Goodwill. Oops. <laughs> so I'll be on a no source February, but I still have lots of unboxings to do. So I'm super excited to film those and see what kind of goodies I got in those boxes. But today is a Monday morning coffee talk, Monday morning coffee talk. Monday morning coffee talks are where I share my week's sales with you. This Monday morning coffee talk covers my sales for the week of January 24th, 2021. I have to admit that I felt like it was a really slow sales week and I almost didn't even film a Monday morning coffee talk again, but as a part-time reseller, I try to get at least one sale a day, so seven for the week, and I did end up with eight sales. So I'm not sure what was going on in my brain, although I did just have a few roll in, so that helped push me to that total of eight. And I was spread out across three platforms. Usually it's eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, but this week it's eBay, Poshmark, and Facebook Marketplace. And my first sale is actually that Facebook Marketplace sale. And I had picked up a pair of mugs in a box. They were still in their original box. And it said, I do, and I do what she says. So it was two, um, two coffee mugs, obviously made for a bridal shower or wedding gift. And I sold those pretty quickly on Facebook Marketplace for $15. They actually did go to somebody that I know. So I felt a little bad charging her $15 because I did pick them up at the Goodwill outlets for probably about a dollar. So I made $14 off that sale. The next item that sold, sold on eBay, and it was this really nice Liz Claiborne flower. It was like a fabric flower with a dragonfly on it, and it was a brooch. And I'd had this for a long time. I tried taking pictures one time and they didn't come out that great. So I never listed it. And then I took pictures, got it listed. And then I was seeing some of the comps and their pictures were so much better than mine. So I let it go for a couple of weeks and then I was like, this is never going to sell with these pictures. So I did redo pictures for it and then it sold pretty quickly. And it sold for $15.99 with the buyer paying shipping. And because I get most of my jewelry through large lots, I typically figure that it costs me about a dollar per piece. The next item to sell on eBay was a Goodwill outlet bin find from my trip way back right before coronavirus quarantine hit us. So it was back in March. So this has been up for sale for a long time. It's a boxed set of CDs for learning Spanish. And it coincidentally went to somebody who lives only about 20 minutes away from me, but it sold through eBay for $27.99 with the buyer paying media mail shipping. So their total cost was $33.33. Because of the low cost of goods for me, I'm still left with about a $24 profit on that item. All of the rest of my items are actually sitting here waiting to be shipped out. So I can do a little bit of show and tell with you. First on Poshmark, this pair of jeans by Jeanology sold only for $10 and I picked them up for $5. These were one of the very first items that I picked up to flip for profit. So I didn't really know what I was doing, but I saw them new with tags and thought they'll sell. They did, but it took a really long time. So these have been for sale for about nine months. Finally sold I think that I took an offer of $10. I was happy to just get rid of them at this point. Um, so I only made about a $2 profit on this item. Not one of my best flips. Next on eBay, I have to thank Martha. I finally started listing some of the jewelry that Martha had sent me. And I did a video unboxing all of that fabulous jewelry from her. And I knew that this piece was special. So I'll show you pictures. I have it right here. Um, it was an Aldo necklace. It was a beautiful statement necklace and it had great comps on it. So I had a feeling that 
Um, it would sell pretty quickly. I think that I priced it at $39 and took an offer of $35, which seemed to be about where they were selling. So it sold for $35 on eBay, buyer paid shipping. And because I had no cost on that, Martha was kind enough to send that to me. I'm happy to report that I have about a $39 profit on that item. So thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Next on Poshmark, I sold this pair of Nikes and they are women's shoes. Um, I believe they're just, yeah, just women's shoes. I wasn't sure if they were golf shoes. They are just a pair of like, like new, if not brand new. I got these at an estate sale, my $1 estate sale. I sell something from it every single week. And these sold for $35 on Poshmark. So buyer paid shipping and my only cost was the Poshmark fee and then again about a dollar for this item. So I made about a $27 profit. And I will say that the buyer and I went back and forth. We did a lot of negotiation because I think that I had them listed for 69 and she offered 25. So we bargained back and forth and I think that I finally sent her like a 40 and she said 35 was absolutely as high as she was willing to go. So I waited on it for almost 24 hours and then right before the offer expired, I did accept that. Next on eBay, this tennis bag, Prince tennis bag, and it holds several tennis rackets can see it goes pretty wide it sold on ebay for twenty dollars and i accepted an offer i think i did have it listed for more like forty dollars but i've had it listed for probably about six months and i'm happy to see it go for twenty dollars buyer paid shipping so they are actually fifty two dollars and seventy six cents all in so when i saw what they were paying in shipping i thought yeah i'm just going to go ahead and accept that i'm not sure if it's going to cost me quite that much to ship it out but we'll see. And again, about a dollar cost because I picked up so much at that estate sale. And then the last item to sell is also from that estate sale. And I'm kind of glad that it sold on Poshmark. It is this Wilson's leather coat and it's heavy. <laughs> so I did weigh it and I should just make it under the five pound limit for Poshmark shipping labels. So at first I got nervous thinking, oh my gosh, is this going to be even heavier than five pounds? I'm going to have to pay for more shipping. But it sold again on Poshmark for $28. I didn't even offer a shipping discount. So I'm left even after my $1 cost of goods, about $21.40 profit. Those are my eight sales for the week. I hope that sharing this information helps you out so you can see what kinds of things sell what things might take a little longer to sell, maybe some things that you don't want to pick up like genealogy jeans, apparently. <laughs> so thank you for being here and I'll catch you next time.